everybody, it's Tiffany, and I'm gonna show you some of the amazing things. Well, I don't know if amazing is the right word, but some of the really good things that you can do with our one inch punch pack or one inch stamp store and go bag. So these little bags, as you probably already know, clear vinyl, they have the interior tray, which keeps everything nice and neat and straight. They have a little handle on the top. They are reinforced on the top under the handle, which is why the handles don't rip off. So there's a whole nother piece of webbing underneath the plastic that keeps the handle from tearing off. Eight and a half by 11 is the interior size on this bag. It's one inch um, deep. Let me show you a few of the uses for the one inch bag. The one inch bag was designed for, specifically for wood mounted stamps, right? Imagine taking those wood mounted stamps that you have piled up in a drawer or box, or maybe you've just got them dumped into a cupboard and you have to dig through them to find them, putting them all into an eight and a half by 11 bag, labeling the side, Ooh, I even have a label on that side, and being able to just go vertical with your wood mounted stamp collection. I promise you, if you take your wood mounted stamps vertical, you are gonna use them so much more often, right? As you know, there's a tray in here, and that is what keeps the stamps all nice and neat, instead of just piling up in the bottom of the bag, right? One other tip I wanna share with you, especially handy with stamps and punches, is when you fill a tray with your stamps, um, you can pack them in perfectly like this, but when you start taking those stamps out and using them, it's going to be hard to remember exactly how they were in the tray. So what I'm going to recommend that you do is fill the tray and then put it on the copy machine and make a photocopy of it. And then you can put it in the bottom of the tray. And when you put the stamp, when you take the stamps out and you're ready to put them back, you know exactly where they go. Now when you're making that photocopy, put your stamps in the bag backwards, right? So here's the flap of the bag. Back, this is t typically the front of the bag. But when you put the stamps in the bag backward, then you can just take that bag and lay it down on your copy machine and make that copy and then put the, um, put the copy in the bottom of the tray. You can make a second copy if you want and put it in the back if you want to be able to see what stamps are in there. Or if you're creating a stamp catalog, you might want to make a copy and slide it into your stamp catalog and then you can label the bag with a number and that little uh, copy with a number in your catalog and you'll know exactly where to find those stamps. So born for stamps and small punches, right? Same idea. All the small punches are in there, and you can see in the back that there is a photocopy of where the, how the punches line up. So punches especially slide around quite a bit. Putting that paper in the bottom is going to be really an asset when you're trying to put everything back. Same thing, put a label down the side, and you can create this library of craft supplies. So stamps, punches. This is a whole collection of mini ink pads. So especially if you're going to travel with inks, with ink pads, a lot of times they come open. If they're all contained inside this bag, even if they do come open, I don't know why ink manufacturers can't make an ink box that stays closed. Although I do have to give some credit to Close to My Heart for the magnetic inks and Stampin' Up also was able to come up with an ink pad that stays closed. But the little guys almost never do. So they're in this bag. If they come open, the only thing that's going to get ink on it is the bag. So it's a great way to keep them, especially if you're going to travel, travel with them. What do you need when you're stamping and inking? You need stamp cleaner and your Misty, right? Where are those? How hard are they to find? Right here in your library next to your stamps, your stamp cleaner and your Misty, or if you use another brand or something similar, stamp press, one of those types of things. Just a great way to store all of those things together. And again, once you get them vertical, now you've got just a library of supplies. So the one inch stamp store and go bag, eight and a half by 11 interior tray dimension, uh, one inch deep. You are gonna love working with it for so many things.